Are you guys struggling to gain muscle? Today I'm gonna give you guys five tips for how to gain lean muscle mass. But before we get started, make sure you guys email me the word ebook at conteperformance at gmail.com. That will give you my free three month fitness plan along with nutritional tips to really help you burn fat and build muscle. The email address will be in the description below. Make sure you check it out. Let's get straight into it. Tip number one guys, tip number one, make sure you're consuming at least 1.2 grams of protein per body weight. So listen, I noticed when I really started gaining a lot of muscle weight, I was consuming about 1.4 grams per body weight. So I'm taking in about 240 grams of protein. Listen, the more protein, the better. Only thing, right now I'm in a weight gain phase, so I'm in a calorie surplus. Um, six months ago, I was in a calorie deficit. I was trying to lose weight and get as lean as possible and just you know, keep working on developing my abs and getting as sculpted as possible. The thing about when you're in a calorie deficit is it's hard for your muscles to recover. So it's easier when you're in a calorie surplus and you're trying to really gain that, that muscle mass. So it's so important to make sure you're getting anywhere from 1.2 to 1.4 grams of, of protein per body weight. So bare minimum, you guys need 1.2. But if you're really trying to gain a lot of lean muscle mass, I recommend going anywhere from 1.4 to even 1.6. Bodybuilders consume around 1.6 grams of protein, but if you're just really active and you want to be at a good healthy weight, I think 1.4 is perfectly fine. Also, when you consume that much protein, it helps with your cravings. A lot of you guys are having cravings late at night and you're hungry and, it, and you want to go out and you want to eat processed foods. If you're consuming a lot of protein, it's going to help with your cravings. You're not going to crave as much and you're going to feel a lot fuller throughout the day. And lastly, something that really helped me out, I was having a lot of injuries and I was having back pain, I was having shoulder pain and knee pain. If you guys are having all these types of pain, protein is going to help with that. Protein helps you build muscle, protein helps with recovery, and it's so important. You know, as we get older, it's hard to really hold on to this muscle mass. So you have to make sure you're consuming your protein. If you're not, even, even if you're not getting in all of your carbs and your fats, like there are some days where you know I'm busy, I'm, I'm working, I'm you know shooting videos and I, and I barely get a chance to eat. The one thing I do is I make sure I consume my protein. So listen, tip number one guys, make sure you're consuming at least 1.2 to 1.4 grams of protein. And if you're really trying to put on a great amount of protein, then yes, you can do 1.6 grams of protein per body weight. That's tip number one, and that's how you're gonna to start to really build that muscle mass. Number two, tip number two, you must count your macros. When I ask you guys, hey, what's your calorie intake? A lot of you guys don't have any idea how many calories you're even consuming. In order to really gain that weight, you have to be hitting a certain amount of calories every day. You need to be in a calorie surplus, which is 500 calories at least over your maintenance. So if your maintenance is 2,500, you need to be consuming 3,000 calories every day. Right now, I'm consuming about 4,000 calories a day, which is really difficult because it's easy to consume 4,000 calories if you're eating junk food because one meal at Popeye's or any, any, any fast food place can, or Chipotle, whatever you name it, it can be about 2,000 calories right there, but it takes a lot of chicken breast, um, brown rice, broccoli to really get 4,000 calories. But if you really want to gain this lean muscle mass, you guys have to be hitting your macros each and every day. Make sure you're getting a food scale. Uh, you have to know how much protein you're taking and you have to be precise and you have to be exact every day. If you're supposed to be getting 200 grams of protein, you need to put those 200 grams on a food scale and you know measure your food count because you need to know exactly how many grams of protein you're intaking each and every day. You need to be hitting that. My gram count is about 240 grams of protein, which is about 1.4 grams per my body weight when I first started my fitness gains right now. Currently, I'm about 195 and I'm looking to get all the way up to 215. I started this process at 172 pounds and right now I'm 195, shooting to get to 215. So listen guys, the key here is to hit your macros each and every day and the only way you're gonna do that is by one, weighing your food on a food scale and getting my fitness pal the app and if you're doing that every day you will see the weight on the scale go up i promise you that and that's tip number two 
Tip number three, tip number three, make sure you're still getting your 10,000 steps in and at least hitting cardio for about 10 minutes, three times per week. So listen guys, a lot of people think that whenever they're trying to gain weight, just eat whatever they want to eat, eat whatever, eat whatever, load up, load up, load up. The best way to do it is to gain weight, but to just gain lean muscle weight. Yes, when you're in a weight gain, you will gain fat, but you don't want to gain, like right now I've been gaining, and if you guys saw some of my recent videos, or I'm gonna put a video up where you can see me kind of, you know, at the end of my weight loss phase, when I was about 172, I was a lot leaner, and I put on about 23 pounds, but even though I put on my 23 pounds, I still, I still am lean. Yes, I've gained body fat, but I didn't gain so much body fat where, you know, I'm almost looking out of shape. So you still wanna make sure you're getting in your steps and you're hitting your, um, you know, you're doing high intensity tr on the treadmill or sprints for 10 to 15 minutes, at least three times per week. So that way you're staying lean because you don't wanna just put on a bunch of weight and then you're like, you look flabby, you look out of shape. The point is to gain lean muscle mass. And the more lean muscle mass you gain without fat, the easier it is to cut back down. Cause some people, a lot of times, you know, bodybuilders back in the day would get up to 250 pounds and then they would cut all the way back down to 185 and they barely gained any muscle mass. So it's really important that when you're gaining this lean muscle, you're still getting your steps in, you're still hitting the treadmill, so that way you're putting on lean muscle. And that's tip number three. Tip number four, make sure you're hitting your protein intake every single day. Listen guys, I'm not perfect. I miss days, I have days when you know, I went out and I sleep in and I slept in late and you know, I missed a couple meals, but at least make sure you're hitting your protein intake. I'm not saying you're gonna consume 3,000 calories each and every day. I understand that you're not gonna be perfect with that, but it's very important to make sure you're hitting your grams each and every day because that's the most important macro. By being consistent with that, that'll result and consistent muscle gain. Guys, you know, as I've gotten older, I've realized how hard it is to, one, put on muscle, and two, maintain the muscle. And it only gets harder and harder and more difficult. So it's very important that, you know, you do value your gains. I've put in a lot of work to look like this and maintain this physique, so I'm not gonna throw away my gains. I have times, you know, when I go, typically for me, when I go out, I don't eat that much just because like I'm out, I'm moving around, I'm here, I'm there. So when I'm going out, I make sure to try to get my protein in and I don't even consume that many carbs and fats when I'm at home during that day that I know I'm getting ready to go out. Because I know, guys, when you go out, whenever you go out, the foods at these restaurants are very high in carbs and fats. So it's very easy to get your carbs and fats when you go out, but they don't provide you with a lot of protein. So it's very important that when you are at home, you know, you're drinking that protein shake, you're, you're consuming your chicken breast, um, your steak, your salmon, um, lamb, whatever, go, whatever you need to, you know, hit your protein intake. So that way when you go out, you can get your carbs and your fats easily. So another, another major, major thing that helped me out was consuming that protein before I went out. And also it helps out because for me, something that I learned is if I'm hungry, if I'm starving and I go out, I'm gonna eat everything in the room. I'm gonna eat everything in the room. So just by consuming my protein, typically if I eat close to my protein, count, so if my protein count, which my protein count is 240 grams, if that's what I need, if I eat about 180 to 200 grams of protein before I go out, then I'll have a lot more discipline. I'm able to be a lot more disciplined, and that's tip number four. Tip number five, tip number five, you can eat a little bit more junk food. I'm a little bit scared to tell you guys this because I don't want you guys to overdo it. Yes, when you're on a um, calorie surplus, yes, when you're trying to gain muscle, whenever you gain, you can't gain muscle without gaining fat. So it's, it's very hard to gain muscle without gain, gaining fat. That's like a body recomp, and there's a lot of work that goes into that. Typically, most people just gain weight, and then they cut it down. So they gain, they put on muscle, they put on fat, and then they cut it down. But you're gonna be in a calorie surplus when you're trying to gain this muscle. A lot of us are hard gainers. It's hard for us to get our calories just the clean way. So a lot of us eat junk food to help get the rest of those calories. I recommend, you know, if you are going out, 
you're, you're running busy that day, yes, you can go ahead and grab Popeyes, you can grab Chipotle. You, know, you have to be reasonable and be mindful and you have to assess. You know, I can't give you guys, to, I can't tell you guys to do this exactly and it's gonna work out. But you know, look in the mirror, have McDonald's, have whatever the case is, and then look in the mirror and say, is it affecting you? How is it affecting you? Sometimes, you know, even if you're getting stuck, if you're not seeing improvement on the scale, then yes, you can go and indulge in some Chick-fil-A to help you, you know, get over that hump, to help you consume the calories. The thing about when you're eating these processed foods is you're getting a lot of carbs and fats, but you're not getting a lot of protein to help you build muscle. So I recommend if you do, you know, if you do indulge in that, you know, make sure you load up on the protein and then yes, you can have the additional fries or, you know, but get a burger and get an extra patty on the burger just to really, you know, get a good, just to get more protein. So, you know, gaining weight can be easy. It doesn't have to be a difficult thing. It is easy to gain muscle mass if you're doing it the right way. That's tip number five. Woo! Yes, sir. Listen, those are the five tips to help you gain lean muscle mass. That should have been very insightful. I dropped a lot of gems in there. Listen, make sure you subscribe to the page, hit the notification button. I got great content coming out each and every week. I'm gonna make sure you guys get right, I get right, we're on this journey together. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm in the process of gaining weight. I started off at 172, I'm currently 195. My goal is to get to 215. Watch me on the way to this journey. Also, email me the word ebook at contentperformance at gmail.com. The description is below. So that way you guys can get your free three month fitness plan along with nutritional tips. Listen guys, it's late at night, I'm in the gym, I'm trying to get right. I had to shoot this content for y'all. I'm about to go lift these weights, push myself, progressive overload, building, loading up the weight, no excuses. I'm delivering this video to you guys. So make sure you stay locked in with me. Don't forget to subscribe, content performance, we out.